A fifth sailor is now charged in connection to the death and alleged cover up of another sailor on a Southern California military base. Our Team 10 investigative reporter Jennifer Kastner was at today's hearing at Camp Pendleton. That's where the sailor was accused of involuntary manslaughter. This sailor is a corpsman, which is a type of medic. Our cameras were not allowed in the courthouse behind me for the hearing. Inside a Camp Pendleton courtroom Tuesday, a fifth Navy corpsman was handed down charges in connection to the 2019 shooting death of fellow corpsman HM3 Michael Vincent de Leon. It's been a cover up. I mean, I'm, I'm, right now, I'm not going, I'm not going to, I'm not going to backtrack it. This has been a cover up. De Leon's father, Jose, and mother, Sandra, spoke to ABC 10 News just after the hearing, where HM2 Edmund Maybane was formally accused of involuntary manslaughter, reckless endangerment, and obstruction of justice by giving false information to a 911 operator, according to a prosecutor. To see the person that was the last one that saw my son alive, it's not easy. The De Leon said that their son captured this Snapchat video before he was shot during a party with other corpsmen at a house on the 29 Palms base located northeast of San Diego. The prosecution has said that the corpsmen were drinking and dry firing guns, simulating their discharge without live ammo before a fatal round was fired. The De Leon's claimed that the corpsmen tried to conceal the truth after ABC 10 News confirmed through sources with close military ties that their son's death was being investigated as a homicide, not a suicide like they said they were first led to believe. This summer, HM1 Ryan Dinney, the most senior of all the corpsmen connected to the investigation, was found guilty in part of dereliction of duty resulting in death. He was sentenced to 100 days in the brig and a rank reduction from E6 to E5, resulting in a drop in his pay. HM2 Mason Williams was found guilty of dereliction of duty and disorderly conduct, dropping his rank from E4 to E1 with a pay reduction. In July, the Marines confirmed that two other corpsmen were also charged in connection to the death, but that scheduled proceedings were not publicly accessible at the time. The De Leons remain disappointed in how it's all unfolded. We can say these great words like justice, honor. No, it's, it's not happening here. We have not seen it here, but we're not going to give up. The judge advocate who oversaw Tuesday's hearing will now take time to review the submissions from the defense and the prosecution and decide whether he recommends that the charges be dismissed or be sustained. Reporting from Camp Pendleton, Jennifer Kastner, ABC 10 News.